Hey, hey, Blue Table fans, take two. All right, for those of you just now joining the program, this is a converted Trogoth hag with Trog bag and female troll parts. And the client was like, hey, that's great, but it's not on the right base size. So what I did, rather than just taking this off of here and making a base that was the correct size, this is, I do believe, 105 millimeter oval. I said, hey, why not be able to play as both? So what I did is I put magnets on the bottom. That's just super glue and three magnets. And I put a metal plate on this base. You can see the outline there. It's square. And I built up some cork that's been cut in half to be about half the height. By the way, there's such a thing as good and bad corking. Don't just slap cork on something and be like, it's rocks. No, rocks don't look like that. you got to break them up a little bit and make them look natural. So, there on she goes like that. And we have a base that's the correct size. But there was sort of like a proportionality issue. So, I took this arachna cauldron. Now, I actually cut off these flames because I was going to fill it with like body parts and like a bubbling cauldron, but that actually looked pretty lame. So I put the flames back on and I put a second plate here, which has been disguised with texture. And there are magnets on the bottom. They've been painted black. You see them sort of sticking out there. There's three, I do believe it is one sixteenth inch thick magnets, maybe one eighth inch. And they actually don't quite reach the bottom, and that's on purpose, because I don't want them to clack against the plate. So you just put that on there, and uh, it stays with, uh, with a good degree of hold, certainly playable. So there she is, a Trogoth hag with a smoking cauldron that sort of follows her around the battlefield. And I think that looks, that looks really cool. And if the client wants, he can remove this model, turn it into the Endless Spell. It certainly has plenty of hold there. And also take this model off and play it as a Dank Hold Trogoth. And also I'm going to paint up these for fun, probably use them in my D&D game, which is the Miniatures Battles thing that I'm doing. Spider Swarm is what that's going to be. Alright guys, thanks for tuning in, and I know you got your inspiration for the day.